Do you know what's right over there? A cow killer. Do you want to see one? Well, let's take a look. Are you thinking, wait a minute, that's an ant. Well, you would be correct. Well, kind of. It's called a female eastern red velvet ant. But it's not an ant. It's confusing, I know. It's actually a wasp. So if you ever wondered if a velvet ant is the same insect as a cow killer wasp, they are indeed one and the same. And the nickname cow killer came about because of the legendary, excruciating, agonizing, intense pain of the female sting, which can last up to 30 minutes. Let's take a look at a stinger. It's one of the longest stingers in the world relative to its body size. It's half as long as the insect itself. The sting of a female velvet ant rates a number three on the Schmidt Sting Pain Index, four being the worst. Enough pain to kill a cow, but it doesn't really kill cows, just feels like it could. But don't worry, these wasps are not aggressive and unlikely to sting, of course, unless they feel threatened. Okay, this is a male velvet ant. You may have noticed they look different than the female. They have wings which they can use to escape the predator, which is good because they don't have a stinger. The males are harmless. This is interesting to watch as these females search for tunnels looking for ground nesting wasp or bees. When she finds one, she'll dig down and lay her eggs on the bees and wasp pupa. And because this is a parasitic wasp, these pupa act as a host to her eggs. When the velvet ant eggs hatch, the young eat their host. Then the velvet ant larvae winters inside the host nest as they mature and eventually pupate and emerge in the spring as adults. Well, I hope this has inspired you to be curious, explore, and go outdoors. Thanks for watching.